All right, what's up, guys? Well, okay, that is loud for no reason, my guy. Y'all can just chill on that. Dang. I have gone deaf. I have gone deaf. What? What is? EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. My God, bro. Dang. Why does the screen look like that? Oh, we're gonna have to fix that. Hold on, guys. Having some technical difficulties. I will fix this screen in a second. Hold up. Just, just in case they want to show some personal information. They might be on some dumb stuff where it kind of be... Oh, like, uh, whatchamacallit, um... F1. Before we head out to the course, let's create your golfer. Wait a second. Hold on. Back. Back. I say back. I guess if that's the closest black guy that they can create, then all right. Okay, that. See, that's the thing. Okay, hold on. It's just going to be bright, but I'm going to mute the screen because I don't... Or not mute the screen. I'm going to mute the uh, stream because I don't want to get hit with no copyright claims, so... Why they act like I can't choose? Hold on for a second, cause I, yeah, I was about to say I better be able to play with it. Um, what? No, dang, man, this is like. That is what I'm trying to do. Why is it they, them? I'm like, I, bro. Not that I have an issue with that, but I'm just saying, like. I feel like that's, you know, that, like, that's that's for a particular group. I'm, I'm not trying to steal no type. Dang, that man looks scared. This is just about as close as it's going to get. My eye color is kind of dark. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go with that. Guess I'll go with that. Hairstyle. Right, yeah, right now I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bald right now. Dang, he just looked too bald. Nah, we're going to have to change that. They're going to have to have something else. But that's like a hollow afro. Like, I can't, can't go with that. Well, I think because my, my character, he's going to probably be wearing hats and stuff. So, yeah, I guess I'll just, yeah, stick with that. It just maybe if I give him like more eyebrow, yeah, yeah he need that. I think that's what it is. He just he just needs more of an eyebrow. Yeah, I'll go with that. Right, but uh, yeah, I don't know what any of that stuff means. Who's this? Caddy. That guy, he looks scary. No, we going with somebody else. Let's let's go with him. Let me 
put in this mess on easy. We put in everything on easy. Hey, what's up, uh, Dez to chill Appreciate the follow. Sorry if the screen is, like, mad bright right now, PGA hype. Yeah, I'm saying I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I saw they were going to have this. I'm Okay. No, bro, I'm trying to... No lobby. No, like I um I have it uh, muted at the moment because I don't want to get like no copyright claims and stuff. So I'm just kind of um just waiting, waiting until I can fix this screen issue. Hold on, let me see if I could do this and then that. Disable. Unlock. It still has the screen like mad bright. Maybe that's my PC. Hold on, let me um turn the music. I ain't taking no chances. Okay, now I will unmute. But now I gotta fix this because I'm like, bro, that's just way too bright, man. HDR settings. Now it makes it look all, like, foggy-like. I swear, man. I wish that HDR stuff didn't even exist. Because I'm like, that's just weird. How they get, like, then if it's too bright. <sighs> Just goes right back to that brightness. Cause like here it looks fine, but like for some reason they're like, nah, bro, let's just have it where it's just mad. Oh, so I think I gotta okay. Let me restart the game and see if that helps. It's still bright, bro. That's weird, man. I ain't never had this issue in any other game. Then all of a sudden, it's just got to have this issue now. Welcome to EA Maybe if I, like, they might have, like, a brightness settings that I can turn down. Because that's crazy. Like, trying to play a game and it look like a flashlight. They don't have nothing that you can. <sighs> okay, like maybe that might fix it. Sports. It's in the game. Still 
They're just bright for no reason. Welcome to EA Sports. I wonder, okay, if I do it like this, I wonder if that makes it look like that on, because if it don't look like that on on uh, Twitch, then I ain't going to trip about it. It doesn't. That's weird. Hold on. Oh, that's so weird. It doesn't even look like that. I thought that's what people were seeing on Twitch. I guess not. Nah, that's just that's a Streamlab thing then. Yeah, that's weird. They got it looking like that. All right. Well, anyways. Where do you want to begin? USGA, PGA. So yeah, let's let's start here. Amateur, four rounds, AI scoring, controls the lead score, close by the. Okay, start this. <clears throat> EA Sports, in partnership with the United States Golf Association, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage from this opening round. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. Some good names up there, including our leader. So let's get That's you out to the action frame rate. on the turn right. as we head to the tee at the par 4 10. Okay. This one started up the right side. Mm. And that will do just that was a that was a solid hit. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it there. There you go. There you go. They like it like all oh, choppy that, like. Hold on for a second. Four time winner on the PGA tour and noted you've been in this spot and, and every tournament is in a way a classroom. Maybe a classroom at Stanford, your alma mater. It's a chance to learn, isn't it? It, it really is. And the hardest thing is to temper your expectations and to keep the nerves under control because every single round from this point forward can be a stepping stone and an opportunity to learn and make your game better and move towards your ultimate goal of playing at the highest level. Dang. We welcome in. I, I could no, I could do this. this. I could do this. But for birdie. And this putt's gonna want to go left all day long. It's back up the slope as well. Dang, bruh. Had it right in the heart and just didn't hit it. This is an eleven foot putt. Why he act like he can't hit the ball that hard? Side, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. It's like, bro, it's, it's, stop, stop playing. 
Why is this ball not being hit hard enough? I'm literally flinging the analog stick back as far as I can. Like that's crazy. A six at the par four, and he'll slide back now to three over par. The 11th here at Bandon Dunes at 452 yards apart for the putt bunker left of the fairway is the main concern on the tee shot from there an uphill second takes you to a green that slopes away and back toward the ocean beyond. So yeah, we just gonna have to just go with that. No issues here. That is into the fairway. I wonder how golf became a sport. Like, who was just sitting down thinking, like, hey, you know what? Let's take that hard ball and just start hitting it down the field. They're like, what, what's that going to accomplish? Second Nothing, but we're going to feel good. Tucked in the front left. safely on deck that's the main thing but from that distance really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker like a four or five footer so this first putt's going to have to be good bruh come on Okay, okay, there we go. Well done. It is a par here at 11. And he'll hold steady at plus three. On to the par three 12th hole. This is the number 18 handicap hole. So maybe that gives you well, a little bit of optimism. That. But par is not a bad score here as this measures out at 238 yards. The longest of the four par threes. Yeah, I hit that ball way too hard. Y'all better watch out. Dang, and it went down the hill, bro. Ah, uh, that one needed to put on the brakes, but could not. And this will wind up over the green. Had to take the boxing gloves off on that one. No touch whatsoever. And this is a long, long putt coming back. And that will make it onto the putting surface, but ultimately, not a real good shot. Dang it. Didn't line it up perfectly. Oh, dang. Not quite enough pace on that part. Eight foot putt here. Bro. This is why I don't like playing golf, because of stuff like that. I was about to say, man. Finished off there for double bogey. And he'll fall back now to five over par. So I stick to my illegal street racing and robbing Holy banks and doing all the other extra um, activities. Five, but golf, man, I'm telling you. It is reachable in two. Big dunes in the fairway could make the stance awkward for that second shot. But a big it's a game you got to You have to practice for it. Head to toe does yield a good number of eagle putts.
This is like bumpy terrain, bruh. Dang, where are we playing there? Farm? This is gonna wind up squarely in the fairway. Hey, seriously, in somebody's backyard playing golf. Man, I swear. Just like the ball, they make it much. seem like that you have to hit and hit it in a certain distance and way, but it's like that when you do that. I don't know about this one. I'm kind of glad they have a demo. Because if I bought this, I'd be mad. Distance very important. It might be one of those putts. Hit it firm, you take the break out altogether. See, like in the bar, I'm nah, bro. I'm I'm done. I I played what I need to play. I'm playing Need for Speed. It's like I am playing Need for Speed. I'm not gonna stress myself out with that. Got screen issues, got all these other issues. I am going full with it. I do all the oh there's still some other stuff I gotta do all right this is your curator God speed races in his quest to earn his way into the outlaws rush ain't gonna stress myself out with no golf I'm sorry can't do it it's like I you know out here getting headaches from playing games can't do it I mean, hey, like. That's it. That's what you feel comfortable with. Do what you got to do.
Did I do this? I feel like I did this already. Unless they just got me doing the same thing all over again, but... Either way, I like these ones. These ones is fun. Hey, what's up, wholesome? Doing good. How about yourself? What's this? Try. <clears throat> do I hit these? Oh, I do hit them. That mania ending, bruh. I'm doing a star work. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Nice, nice. Happy to hear you got that job. But yeah, that that WrestleMania ending, man. I'm like, that could have ended so differently. At least they could have had somebody come out and attack Roman Reigns. Like, that ending was just, it was extremely disappointing. Roman already. Yeah, it was like at first it was cool, but now it's like, you know, you build everybody's hopes up just to let us down. I'm like, all right, now I, I think it's about time you let that man lose a match. I guess they're all like, oh, we trying to do it to get to this thousand day mark. And I'm like, okay, get to that thousand day mark. But once he passed that mark, it's time for him to lose. Because I'm getting, I'm getting tired of these like, oh, you hype these wrestlers up just for them to lose. Great and all, but anyway, yeah. Oh, I've been past that, uh, the target thing. crazy how they pass up druid and clash in the uk which doesn't always happen they did the same with sammy i can understand why but cody that was crazy. bro drew mcintyre yeah he definitely should have won it would have been amazing if Sami Zayn could have had like his wrestlemania moment well i mean he did by beating the usos but if it had been him beating roman i think that that would have made it so much better but that's honestly how they could have written it out. Sami Zayn goes up against um, Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Goes uh, also up, um, up against the Usos. Solidifies his um, his like WrestleMania, his legacy, and all that stuff by beating the Usos one night and then beating Roman Reigns the other night. Cody Rhodes goes up against Solo Sequoia. And it, bro, it, it seriously, it could have been like the best thing ever. That's how, if I would have been writing out WrestleMania, that's how I would have written it out. Jey Uso turns on uh, Roman because he's like, look, I'm not going to be out here fighting your battles anymore. I'm saying, like, I, I just, that, they could have ended so, so much better. And then have it where it's like, yeah, then it's uh, Sami Zayn, he goes up against Jey Uso. Uh, at, um, like that WrestleMania backlash, wherever they gonna, uh, call it. Pay-per-view after that, he goes up against Cody Rhodes. Pay-per-view after that, Solo Sequoia. Pay-per-view after that, Jey Uso. Just giving these guys, like, more of a platform, you know? But I'm telling you, they had me as a writer for WWE. I have been writing out some five-star matches. I think Shane really got it. Was, was it for this new... Oh, no, Shane really did get hurt. 
they did say that he he tore like a ligament in his leg or something i didn't know what was going on in that i was like what what happened what's 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 going on but no i think they did um triple h i think he did say yeah shane mcmahon he did get injured i think it's dope though that they brought him back Yeah, they was like, uh, cause yeah, I was like, bro, what's wrong with him? I'm like, did then Snoop Dogg? I think that, but I think that is dope though for Snoop Dogg and the Miz to just improvise like that, and then they just they they came up with just having it where Snoop Dogg won the match. I think that was pretty funny. So I was like, no, nah, major shout out to the Miz and Snoop Dogg for that one. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I wasn't expecting it to go out like that. When I heard Shane McMahon's music go off, I was bro. That's something I was like, you just, you, you just don't be expecting it. Major, so yeah, that was a major save. The Miz and Snoop Dogg, especially the Miz. I mean, like he, he's one of those guys where it's like, hey, look, if he ain't one of those guys that has like, when after he retires, if he still wants to be in the wrestling scene, bro, he has to have like some sort of say so, or he has to be like at that table of like executive decisions and stuff. Because the Miz, he's one of those guys where it's like he, he's, he's one of those wrestlers where he's written out his history, and the day he retires, that's gonna be a sad day too. He, he might be a heel throughout his career, but I think when he retires, he's going to probably have one of the biggest pops of his whole career. That's going to, it's definitely going to bring him to tears. It's going to probably bring a lot of people to tears to know, like, dang, he's like one of the final, like, pioneers of, like, the wrestlers I grew up watching that's going to be retiring one day. Hope he all the fans because he loses a lot, but it's put over others. And he get, I know, like, that's the thing. He done put over so many wrestlers. Cause I miss older Miz with the mo Oh yeah, that was that was the Miz as a fan. Yeah, where he was wearing uh John Cena jorts, cut sleeve uh shirt and stuff. Yeah, I remember that Miz. He should bring that look back one day. I feel like if he has like a WrestleMania moment, he has to bring that look back like one last time. It definitely would be because I'm like, yeah, I, it's because that was like, yeah, that was like or like 2000. That's when I had started getting into wrestling. And it seemed like what? Maybe a few years later, he dropped that look. Start wearing the like traditional like wrestling trunks. And I'm like, bro, the look that you had before was solid. Like what, what you change it for? And I feel like nowadays, like, they can make, like, because I guess, like, I can understand, like, if it ain't really, like, athletic wear. But I feel like there's a company out there that can make some athletic wear that looks like his old clothes. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it'd be hard to, like, wrestle. I don't know how John Cena did it for so many years, but, yeah, I imagine it probably would be hard to, like, wrestle in some, like, jean shorts. But that, I don't know, that would just be me, though. Like, I, but no, nah, that's the thing. I think I would definitely... If I were to be a WWE wrestler, I'm like, you guys are going to have to, because if I can't wear Adidas pants, you guys are going to have to make some pants like Adidas pants. Because these pants, bro, I'm telling you, like, you can wrestle, run, lift weights. Adidas pants is like, they are the best pants of all times. There's no other pants in this world that can compare to Adidas pants. I wish I had been wearing these pants a, a years ago, like when I was in high school.
comes, man, like how his legs look. So he told Miz to switch his gear. Miz only wore the trunks once because he forgot his ring gear. So I also lent him one since then Vince looked and stayed. True statement. Wow. That's weird. That's just weird. I do not want another grown man telling me how they like the way that my legs look. That's weird. That is weird. That's that's something no. I'm all like, okay, I understand you're my boss and all. Do not ever tell me that again in your life. Don't don't ever say that to me. I will purposely like start getting out of shape just so he won't have to look at my legs anymore. It's like you don't just you just don't say that to me no more. That is weird. Like, it took me a moment to process it. Then once when it finally hit me, I'm like, that's a grown man telling another grown man how his leg... We are not... Even if we're at a gym and we're working out, like, you just don't say that. It's crazy how much power he had, bruh. It's in the time when big man rolled. Yeah. Yeah. That's just... That's just weird. I'm like, sir, you're, you're a weird one. Dang, I'm already at 200,000. I'm not. Oh, well, I made it. It's like telling another grown man his legs look nice. Or like the way that his legs look. I just, nah. That's just one of those things. I because there's that one old MTV show called Guy Code. That's 100% breaking a guy code. You can't you can't tell another man like there's ways of complimenting a man like in being another man. There's just ways of doing it. But like saying, hey, I like how your legs look. That's just weird. I feel weird even saying that. Like, but I feel like how to compliment, how to, like, be a man and to compliment another man. So, like, let's say, for an example, you want to compliment the um, man's legs. You, you, the way that you go about it is by saying, oh, you must do, like, a lot of different, like, leg exercise and stuff, right? And then it just, it, then it kind of, it leads into a conversation. See, you ain't really compliment, you're complimenting them, but you ain't really, you're complimenting them, but with a question. And then, like, okay, so like, then let's say you want to compliment a man's face, being another man. You know, you could just say, well, like, oh, bro, this is like, you got, like, a skin routine that you're on or something? Like, what, what you got going on? See, again, complimenting them with a question. But when you just flat out just say, you like, you look another man in the face and you're like, you're a beautiful young man, that's just, that's going to creep me out. That is 100% going to creep me out. Especially coming from an older man. The only thing that's going to be running through my mind is um that old dude from Family Guy. And I'm like, sir, you better back up before I drop kick you. I'm like, I don't care how old you... But I heard Mr. McMahon, even though he's old, he can still like wrestle a little bit.
because I think it was like they say it was like years ago where uh, him and Kofi, um, they had like a wrestling match in an uh, airport. Like they were full blown, like had like that, like that amateur type wrestling, like the ones that uh, Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle used to do. Like they were doing that, but at an airport. And I'm like, huh, wow, all right. I just, I don't even know how to like how how could you tell somebody that story? Like, oh yeah, I was at the airport today and got into a wrestling match with Vince McMahon. Everybody gonna be thinking it's like TV wrestling, but I'm like, no, it wasn't even that. Like it was, you know, we we were just wrestling. Dang, I didn't realize how far away this place was at. I'm like, dang, bro. I messed that up. Okay, I can do this. Try harder, man. I did it, I did it. Hey, that's all that matters.
not bad for a corporate sheep. I don't see any of you protesting the sweet corporate rights you're drifting with. We're using the weapons of the bourgeoisie against itself. Whatever lets you sleep at night, Che Guevara. Wait, what was the level for this again? 180, okay. You're here, good. Listen, the house is running convoys in the town, and the next one's my Koenigsegg with some extra tech attached. You and your friends are gonna grab it back for me, okay? Why would we do that? One, you owe me. Two, I'll let your buddy Rav peek under that hood before you hand it over. Don't need a third reason. We're in. Yes. So, here's what you do. What are we doing? I, w I wouldn't be in on the plane. Oh. Intercept, then grab the cargo. It'll be part of a convoy. What are you thinking? Quick hit and run. Get me close to the truck. Didn't we do this already? Rav, you turned that Mustang into a runner yet? Yep. We did this. They haven't given us no new mission. Let's go Hey, what's up, Treyway? We did this already. Huh, I guess they ain't giving us no new mission. Blue now. Yeah, I remember it was like when uh, Twitch, that was like such a big thing back in the day. Like back, like years ago when I used it a lot. It was like everybody was changing names and stuff. I think that was like a new feature. It wasn't added like at the time when they very first, when Twitch very first came out. I think it was like added on years later. It might have been, I don't know. I like how cars handle on the dirt in here. It's actually like realistic. Pull up here. I see it. Truck's almost there. Yeah, it's like we, I did this already.
That wasn't as catastrophic, yeah. <laughs> nice hit, Ty. One down, one to go. Get rid of this guy, Ty. That was catastrophic. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get that truck. Judge, you ready? Get me in position. <laughs> This mission was fun, though. I don't mind playing it again. Bat was making a subway. Not making it by ordering. It got me two foot longs. Subway. I still, I still gotta try out subway. I don't get why when I pause this game, it's like the car just loses control. Dang, what's he? Why he flipping these cars like that? You know the collector's gonna go mental when he finds out. Dang, <laughs> these cars is getting messed up. I was like, man, if you guys don't pull over. You know when you step on the gas and the engine growls to life for a second? Oh, yeah. Like that. Except it never stops. Almost there, Jeff. Man, I can't wait to drive it. Sorry, Max. The Koenig's X going straight to the gambler as soon as Raz had a peek under the hood. Damn it! Why don't I ever get to drive a cool car? It's a shame we can't drive it around. This thing is on fire! Bring it into the garage. Time I took a peek under the hood. Figure out what's so special about this thing before we ship it back to here. So yeah, they might not. I gotta do all these extra missions before I unlock the next mission. I ain't tripping about it. Huh? Oh well. I think I'm. Why well, I'm gonna do those? Call it a day with this stream. I needs to record me some content.
I don't get people that follow then unfollow and it's like and yeah, it's people weird for that anyways uh and i'll buy online the raid all right so and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank everybody that stopped by today's stream stay tuned for the night stream also thank anybody that is watching this on youtube like and subscribe